Welcome back to King of Rye. Today we are doing the second part of the three-part series. I know I'm a little late, but at least now I know what I'm talking about. And I know pretty much everything in this event, rather than when we first started in the first part. I literally did it five minutes after it came out and did not know anything I was talking about. But anyway, let's get into it. First of all, what's this event for? Why do I want to do it? Well, you have iconics and iconic elites. That's all I know of right now. You also have some common players that are pretty overpowered, but mostly you're not here for the common players. You're here to get the iconic players, but if you're here for the commons, what's up? Anyway, though. Yeah, so the iconics and the iconic elite elites are filled with some young NFL talent. Some of them are older than others, but they, they, they got some good talent in here that you can pick up. But uh, anyway, how do you get them? Well, to recap, First of all, you have the challenges. That's how you get the different badges and the compensatory coins. And you use those badges to either do a two for one, which is where you trade in two and get the one that you actually want. There's a 300 overall player, which you need 15 of the top 10 in the first through seventh round. Another thing badges is used for is after you get the 300 overall player, Whichever one you choose to get, you can then trade it in for one of the iconic or iconic elite ones. But then you have to put that player in along with other badges in order to actually make it iconic. A demonstration would be me. I went for the defensive end, Everson Gr Griffin. Everson Griffin. Now, as you see, I put my 300 overall player in here. And now, once I get enough badges, I'll actually finish him and end up picking up Everson Griffin in the uh, Griffin Griffin in the uh, iconic form. And uh, compensatory badges are or compensatory coins are used for either just a random badge, which it'll just give you one random, or for a little bit more expensive, you can pick the one that you want. It, well, it's actually almost double. I said that in the last one. <laughs> yeah, they they drew they drove up the prices, but that that's basically all it is. But wait, there's more. Anyway, uh, the green room here. If you click on that, I finally understand it. In the video, I did not, but now I do. Now I've already done mine for today, and it is autoable, and you can only do one of one each day. So every day it has a different thing. And that thing, actually, let me go to my inventory real quick so you can see. Uh, okay, that thing is this. Like, basically, as you see, guys, at the very bottom, five or less receivers drafted in the first round. And then there was the opposite of that, five or more receivers drafted in the first round. Whichever one that you picked is the one you got to go with. And basically... It's like a bet. It's kind of like a bet, except you're not losing anything. It's like either I get it right or I get nothing. Now, the rewards for this, I have no idea. So technically, I don't know everything about it, but I do know most of it. All I know is I'm hoping the rewards, rewards will be good. It's like the Easter egg uh, hatching. Like, I didn't know the rewards for it. I just knew that we should be getting good rewards. Uh, sadly for me, it was not good rewards, but we're not going to talk about that. But uh, yeah, as you see, and I didn't know what what it actually was in the first one because the very first one to come out was Aiden Hutchinson, not drafted first overall pick. The chances of that not, or the chances of that not happening is very, very low. I mean, it could not happen. Maybe a team screws up and picks somebody else. But I doubt it, so I'm probably going to miss out on that. I wasn't really paying attention. But then one or more running backs drafted in the first round. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I would I would like to say that there's at least two running backs that's going to get drafted this year in the first round. I, I would hope, but I could be wrong there, too. I'm probably, I'm probably only get, going to get one. Let me see. Are there any more? Yeah, okay. Fifth overall or lower pick, first quarterback drafted. So basically the opposite was fourth or better or fifth or worse. So I don't think they're going to draft a quarterback this year before the fifth overall, but they may. Like, I'm probably going to get all of these wrong, not to lie. But anyway, 
that's basically what it is. And then I think once the day actually comes out for the draft, you can trade in your hits, which is those cards for, I'm not even sure, it's a pick them hit. I, I, I don't know. But uh, they do have miss. So I wonder if even if you get it wrong, it still gives you rewards. It's just 10 times worse. I have no idea, but I do know clearly that you're going to put the hit in there. Anyway, though, it's pretty much it this year, man. Except for one more thing. Now, that is at the very bottom of the launch players. As you see, you have the 2 through 5 picks, 6 through 8 picks, and the 9 through 10 picks. You probably already knew what these things did. But as for me, I did not. And uh, here we go. So, for this first 2 through 5 pick... You need the common tier of Ed Reed, Shaquan Barkley, Chase Rowler, Stephon Gilmore, Kiki Cote, and Hunter Henry. You need every single, well, not every single, but you need most all of them just for a 2 through 5 pick. And you're like, what's a 2, three, two through 5 pick if you don't know? And you're like, why am I trading in all of this for that one 2 through 5 pick? Well, that would be because the 2 through 5 pick is the actual draft. Yeah, I put two and two together when I logged in and it said, join us live for the actual draft. And I was like, wait, so the two through five pick. So, yeah, the six through eight pick is going to be you pick whichever one you want from the people that got drafted in the sixth and the eighth position. And then nine and ten is the same thing. Now, of course, you would expect nine and ten to be cheaper. As you see, yeah, you're looking at badges there. And then here, the six through eight. Okay, that is quite expensive, but you you get the point. Now, I myself have no idea if it's going to be an Iconic Elite or an Iconic. I would hope it would be an Iconic Elite since we're trading in so much. But that's what I don't like about Madden. When new people come out, they like they overpower them. Because I, I'm pretty sure in Madden 21, which I wasn't playing that much, I'm not even sure what happened, but I, I'm guessing they had Trevor Lawrence at a uh, what is equivalent to an iconic elite this year. I'm I'm guessing they had him there. Now we see what he's doing in the NFL. Like they stack the players ten times more than what they might end up being. Like of course it's an investment, but that's just my opinion. All right, now that'll end it for part two. I do want to give my personal recommendations again since I know more. And uh, that will be, oh, let's check out the store. I already did this before. But for $15, a 300 overall player and 1,000 Madden cash. Then $30, okay. It's getting expensive. Anyway, uh, I have done the five badges of you. No, I haven't. Okay, yeah. If you want to spend money and you see the five badges, don't spend it on that. Because if you come back here and you just buy the same price for more stamina, You'll end up guaranteed getting more if you just do the challenges and you auto through the challenges. You get guaranteed more in a chance of a little bit more than that. Because you see, I get one draft badge no matter what. And then I get a chance at another draft badge. So if you want to spend money don't or Madden Cash, do not spend it on that. Spend it on the uh program stamina. Now, of course, you can only do it one per day. So if you just have like a whole heck of a lot of Madden cash that you're willing to throw down the drain for this uh, event, then by all means, go ahead. Just make sure to buy the stamina one first because it's a much better deal. And then one more thing I'm going to say before I get out of here. Uh, which player should you go for? Well, that's a good question. You see, I wanted Hassan Reddick, but as you see, it's the first through second round badges. And at least for me, those are the hardest to get. So I had to get off of him because our if we got a second linebacker, that would make our team look a little bit more symmetrical and nice. But anyway, I had to get off of him because he's probably going to be too hard to get unless I want to trade in two badges for one. And I really hate doing that because he's literally giving Madden free stuff pretty much in my opinion. But uh, next you have Chris Lynn's Lynn Storm. And it's the same thing for him. Now, I will say, this is I'm only speaking to free-to-play players right now. Because if you have the money it takes to get the first and second round picks, by all means, go ahead. 
but I just feel it'll take too much time because you're you're like why why aren't you talking about the iconic elites? Well, the iconic elites take 190 badges, then 65 and 65. I don't even want to do the math. All I know is that's going to take quite some time to get. And I don't think you're going to get it in two weeks. You may. Like, I may have, but I didn't think I was going to. So maybe I made a wrong decision. Maybe I made a right decision. I don't know. But I highly doubt I would have got it. That being Chris Godwin, uh, Ed Reed, or Shaquan Barkley. And I would have went for Shaquan. Now, next down here, you have the uh, second tier, I guess you could say. And they cost 120 and then the rest are 45 You see, these would be easier to get than those. But even at that, that's still quite a bit. And I, I, I just, I didn't see myself getting it. Unless like the picks, like the uh, hit em picks and the miss em picks gave us like a whole bunch of stuff, like kind of like the Easter eggs. But uh I don't want to take my shot at that. You may. It's up to you, of course. But uh, again, in my opinion, the best thing I could go for was one of these players. You see, fifth to, fifth to seventh round is the one you need a lot of. And look, there's no first or second round in there. And then for him, it's uh, third to fourth. And uh, I went for the defensive end because in arenas, a uh, good iconic defensive end is overpowered because you stop the quarterback from having time. That way, they can't really target you deep down range, downfield. But uh, anyway, and then as you see, Hunter Henry, I didn't need a tight end. But uh, again, first and second round badges, that's 50 of them. If you think you can get them, then go ahead and pick between any of the bottom tier. Or I'm just saying, these are probably the best two for people who are free to play. There's no way I can confirm that. I mean, I, again, I could be wrong. But in my opinion, these are the best two. I went for the defensive end. And then two, another thing, your luck could be a bit better than mine. Like, you could be getting a whole bunch of first and second round picks and getting, like, no uh, third or fourth round picks. And you're like, the third and fourth round is going to take too many of those. Like, I don't know what's going on with you. But uh, for me, it's these two. For you, it may be these three if you have a whole bunch of first or seconds. But, like, go ahead and pick them. Pick what you're going to do. Make up your decision. But I, I doubt you get the second tier. And I know you won't get the first tier. Free to play, that is. But I'm done going on this rant, rant bro. I, I, I was just trying to. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything else you want to know, uh, comment on the video. And I will try my best to answer that question. Again, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.